Well, Ryan's Vindicated here from iPlayMore.com. Quick reminder, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on that Twitch channel, ask me about the men. <laughs> so I'm the game designer developer for a game called Thunder. And today, <laughs> trying to set up the new version, so I uninstalled for the second time, reinstalled, delete, sorry, deleted everything, reinstalled Amazon Lumberyard 10, I had 9 before, or 1.1, .1 or whatever they want to call it. 1.10, it's one. It's 10, because the last one was 9, not 09, 9. So it's kind of weird, You're going from 9 to 1, but there's an extra 0 on the end. Anyways, so uninstalled, reinstalled, built the basic thing instead of trying to build our game, and uh, it built. So try to put our game back in, built it, failed, and it said something about libraries, so I pulled the libraries out, which is kind of important. <laughs> so pulled the libraries out, built it perfectly, started it, and then it failed. So that's how far I got today. But I did work on some, I, a few years ago, well over the years I guess, I've been taking my 5.1 surround sound camera and recording storms because our game is called Thunder. And so, you know, you want to have hailstorms, thunderstorms, rainstorms, all that kind of stuff. And so I have, I've been collecting it all. And then so I did it all on video. And then so I took all that video and edited it all together. But I always thought, wouldn't it be great, instead of having all five speakers on full blast all the time, <clears throat> if the sounds were moving around? And what I'm finding out is if you have one thing left and right and another thing left and right and something in the center, uh, actually, there's two things in the center. There's the low frequency and there's the center speaker. And if you have all that stuff full blast, it sounds a little bit harsh, which is great for the thunder parts that should be in your face. But the rest of it, the rain and the splatter and all that kind of stuff. So I got that all moving around and stuff. So that turned out good. That was a little side project I was able to do. Well, Lumberyard failed. <laughs> so I'll work on it again tomorrow. Um, and starting tomorrow, I just left myself a note. I'm going to start countdown to Threadripper. So I'm getting this brand new gaming system. I'm going to show some pictures and stuff like that tomorrow. And so it's going to be countdown on the 16th. I'm going to buy. So anyways, we'll see. So the most important thing that you do is go to imustudios.com, sign up for our video game test. And the page looks like this. Around the homepage, put in your name, your email address, so you want free game testing. Click the sign up button. So these are some very early prototype screenshots of what we're working on. This is the... Oh, I don't have any of that done yet. <laughs> that's, a, that's a ways out before I can share the audio effects. I'm just working on it today, so... But uh, we gotta put all that, all the sound into the game. I gotta get the, the thing working again. But anyway, so... Uh, so that, this is the Kin Castle, this is the Brood Fortress. This is just the prototypes. So I got the fire burning. Now watch the fire, it'll change. I'm trying to capture these lightning shots. And uh, so sometimes I get lucky, I get it the first time, and sometimes, oh, that one's the first one. But sometimes you'll see, oh, lots of lightning shots. There's the mushrooms I worked on. Still have to have some time to place those around the map. And uh, so the good news is that Henrique, our 3D modeler who made all of these models, everything you basically see, <clears throat> you know, the, these objects, uh, not the plants and stuff, I did all that. But, uh, <clears throat> so he's got Lumberyard set up, it's working for him, thank goodness. And uh, so he's working on getting all of these models fixed up. So you can see there's some texture issues here, but he's fixed all of that, <clears throat> which is great. So I'm playing the time of day here, so that's, <clears throat> uh, what would that be? Sounds like, looks like sunset. Yeah, that's sunset and then the sky is going darker. So it's amazing how change just changing the light. And we're gonna have time of day in our game. So the light will change. Cause the stuff the stuff bright day like this <clears throat> doesn't look as impressive as when you change the light, but I don't always think of that. So I'm gonna have to do some new screenshots. Sure about four days old, but we gotta get the new lumber yard up and running. I'll see if I can have some new ones out tomorrow. Yeah, and actually, you don't see that. And trust me, that lightning flash is so fast. The only reason you see it look like that is because I'm capturing it with an image. 
So in the game, you never see that. <clears throat> That's just somebody did that. It doesn't seem... Yeah, you can see there's two there, too. But I've got a... <clears throat> see, that one's doubled here, but not... Well, it's probably doubled there, but not from our viewpoint. I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> I have enabled... <laughs> once I get the damn thing working, I have enabled the lightning node. So that's what I was missing. So now I'll be able to do... I don't know if you've seen the video that I made on all of the particle effects, the lightning particle effects. But uh, I'll be working on getting those into the game next. This is kind of a cool image. You can see how the mist moves around the bottom. There's that lightning again. And again, yeah, it does look double. You're right. Good eye. I mean, I noticed that, but uh, you do not see that in the game. It's so fast. So <clears throat> it's just because I'm taking so many images until I capture it. I'm trying to capture the lightning just because our game's called Thunder. So I got the icon glowing good. Got some line issues here with the lighting. I've only spent one day on the lighting. I'm just glad it works. Got this waterfall done now. It's nice. And it does, it looks really good. These images actually don't do it much justice because everything this is foam, it's flowing. <coughs> it's all these little splashes are happening. The, the mist is moving, so it's very nice. And uh, some areas that I'm beginning to clear out. I'm trying to clear out as much vegetation as I can to make the game perform better. And so I'm starting to clear out some things like this and then just using the textures and mixing them together to create this kind of a look. And then I put some of my flowers in and take some out, put some in. But the thing is, is to take out 20 things of grass and put in three flowers, right? So we get the smoke working on the lava, on the volcano. We got lava flowing here. I'll show some screenshots of that, hopefully tomorrow. Lots to do. Now watch how many times the flames move. This is how many shots I had to make to get the lightning. And there's lightning flashing in between, but I cannot catch it. Because it's so, there it is, so super fast. Yeah, I can't even tell you that. <clears throat> so yeah, this is just early stage. This is just proof of concept. Pre-alpha. <laughs> so just some of the stuff, what it looks like at night. We've got to be concerned about that because we have full uh, cycle of day and night in our game. Which is very cool when you can see the moon and stuff. Now, our game does not take place in Earth, so... Everything's gonna change. Everything, everything you see here. I mean, the thrones and stuff. Those are the models that we built. <clears throat> you know, that stuff will, well, it'll evolve. We don't have an art director yet, so this is just based on everything that I've designed so far. But uh, yeah, the sky's gonna change. The moon's gonna change. So I took some of the trees out. Hey, how you doing? So get somebody on Twitch and somebody on YouTube now. And there's a central fountain. <clears throat> this is very key to the game. Anyways, the music is up at nimbitmusic.com slash stainglass. Become a fan and uh, grab yourself a wave or MP3 file. There's five songs up there <clears throat> and we'll work on getting some more. All right, let's go game. And I got to say my internet is consistently good now. I don't know what happened. <clears throat> you know, I can't even answer that question. Um... We can set it for whatever we want, but I haven't figured out how to make it run. I've programmed it, and when I have the the, um, the menu open, it'll run, but I've never sat there for 30 minutes to see how long it is, so. You got the M30, sorry, not M93 Fragger, first edition, M4 Big Revolver, Cricket Bat, Sneaky Focus, and Explosion exploding dendron did i say that right <laughs> that's cool man I, like i know what you're talking about that's great all right time to get gaming okay oh yeah i was gonna go just see what the wait time is less than 10 minutes okay well that's yeah i guess i should have started this i just didn't want to be yapping and then have this thing go so we're gonna just go we're gonna forget this. 
cancel. Leave party. I don't got 10 minutes, so. Let's turn on all that stuff. Wave hello. Make sure I'm clicked on my game so I don't turn things back off. 90 is a good ping, but there's only one guy there. 114, two. So I'm gonna go 131 with this nine people. I gotta be a medic. What did that say? East Miami? Yeah. Why? <laughs> okay, that's not even. That's not only east, that's like southeast. I'm northwest. Now I'm thinking that there must be a internet highway uh, going kitty corner across the states or something. Anyway, it probably wouldn't be exactly kitty corner. He's zigzagging through some major cities. But okay. All right, we're going to just do it. Well, some days there are U U UE people, <clears throat> like uh, a guy, I'll just call him by his first name, Pizza, because I don't want to get into the trademark thing, and I don't want to call him by what he calls himself, but let's call him Pizza. He's from Germany, so he'd be like, I'm not exactly your neighbor, but you know what I'm saying. It's like me, somebody from the next province over. Oh. Oh, I did it. She wasn't also focused. And I got another one. My goodness. Hey, do one. So the new lumber yard's out, man. But uh, if you grab it, make sure you come into the there's a chat room I'll have you get you to join with our main map maker and I just to make sure that uh, you get all the benefit that we got because it's not the easiest thing in the world to set up yeah so it's version 1.10.0 Basically 10, the last one is 9, so just make sure you grab the... <clears throat> There's a video that goes along with it, so watch that. Sounds good. Yeah, and then just stop into, uh, into Slack. Oh. And we'll help you. Ouch. Need a medic. Um, now, just to reiterate, I did have some problems with Lumberyard today. So I uninstalled it twice. The first one we'll call my fault. Well, actually, we'll call them both my fault. <laughs> I just tried to make it do everything all at once. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can see the guy coming up from the thing. I can hear the guy walking up behind me. That is a bit of a flaw in this game. I'm in second place and I just got here. But the good news is we've got more sound effects uh, crossfaded today, so I've got about another hour and a half of work to do on that. Then I gotta mix that all down and then master it, then cut it all up and put it into the game. That'll give us all kinds of sound effects for rain, thunder. Um, I even have hail, all kinds of great stuff. That's right, yeah. It's better than free-to-play for two reasons. One, 
Uh, if you're just playing for free, you get to use all the best stuff in the game. You don't. It's not like you're limited. It's not paid to win in any way, shape, or form. It's very careful about that in the design. Keep it moving, guys. And then if you buy stuff, it only increases in value and rarity over time. That's part of the algorithm that we've created. And every, understand everything I'm saying is design. How it actually ends up will be a result of testing and what people say and what they like and what they don't like and all that kind of stuff. Aww. All right. Rush one in, guys. Rush one in. Grab it. There's a phantom on the left. Rushing one in. They got me. They're up top. It's a phantom or something on the walkway. They're shooting down on us. No. No, there's... There's gonna, there's no guns at all, first of all. There's only devices, and there's nine different ones. We might introduce more. The rarity is that you level these things up. I mean, you level your character up too. But as you're playing, and people are, like, if you're buying stuff, I mean, if we're talking about the, the better than free to play angle, then it doesn't matter because you're just gonna play whatever gear is available. It's gonna change all the time. Sometimes it's going to be really great, and other times it won't be as rare or whatever. It's just what's available. So that's the first thing. But if you're somebody that's buying the stuff, then it's it's just like clockwork. The longer you play it, the more that you rent it, the more time that goes by, all way on the algorithm, and it increases in value and rarity over time. Yeah, yeah. They're called devices. There's no reloading in our gun. Our game. <laughs> our gun. <laughs> That's a Freudian slip. Yeah, we've got videos on this on YouTube. The other thing is, is... You know, we're, we're not just drawing on the real world and making things that already exist. Uh, we're making things up right from scratch. The whole story, everything, the whole world, all these devices, how the gameplay, everything. It's all fresh. It's clear. We need help delivering, guys. Oh, it was close. Uh, behind us. I think if we had one more guy, we would have got that. It's behind us. Let's go. What we need is the sky hammers to give us a uh, uh, a drop on that rock, and then we rush in. Yeah. Anybody that can do air support, wipe them out. Okay. Let me. Let me just. Try to grasp what you're saying here. So if you decide to pay money to the game, you're only getting to find your own personal style of combat faster. 
No. So you're gonna you're gonna choose a character, and and it's not. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so distracted. Oh. There's two by the bus. There's one right at the delivery. There's two at the delivery point now. Okay. So, you might try some different characters. Um, for the life of me, I can't think exactly how that works at the moment, but you're going to pick your character. We're only going to have four guys to start. We're trying to keep things very simple. But there's... there's um, I think 18 characters developed. Maybe 20, maybe 24, somewhere in there. I don't remember. I'd have to go look again. Because we haven't worked on that, on this version of the game yet. That's from before. There's hundreds of NPC supportive characters from the novel. I, I don't know how that's going to fit in early game. Probably not much, but there'll be a little bit of that. So. It all depends on what we value as important and what our community says that they want. Because we've got enough stuff to keep us busy probably for 20 years of development. Terra? I'm not sure. But I just try to create the most balanced thing between gamers and, uh, you know, the whales, the people that want to put money into the game and people that don't, tried to create the most balanced game possible for both parties. <laughs> We've actually made one crown already, but it's just for the Kin logo. I don't know what, how, where that's going to end up. Oh, that wasn't good. Okay, I, I'm supposed to be a medic here. Not a proxy. Oh, man. Henry, he sent you a picture? It's so nice to have him in the game engine. Like, he's got all his models working perfectly. There's one guy coming. Absolutely amazing. So, Artie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah, starting tomorrow. Down to Threadripper. If you don't know about it, look it up. I tried to get it. Sorry. AMD is about to kick Intel's butt. <laughs> and not just a small way. So I'm going to be getting the Threadripper 16 core processor. Which they say is too much for gaming, but if you're doing video rendering, and of course making a video game, which involves... They're all by the wall, all by the spawn wall. Building the game. Push it now, push it now from the left side. It's just overkill. Not for me. Yeah, I need that for the recording studio. 
I mean, I even need it for broadcasting. To get the, uh, when I get uh, uh, freezes on my screen, it's because it's my CPU is 100. percent But I do a lot of video rendering, do the work on the video game, all that stuff. So. Man, we're screwed. It's a thousand dollars American. But you gotta get the motherboard, you gotta get the RAM. So all I'm doing is I'm just trading in my supercomputer. That takes four cores. And it's trading up for the newer technology. So I'm really not going to pay anything. Well, once my stuff sells. But everything I've ever put on eBay always sells, so I'm very confident about that. Yeah. Oh boy. Now we can stop them. But, uh, like, for example, I've got a 1080p music video that I did. I created this uh, stained glass cathedral in uh, uh, After Effects. And then I created four video screens, t four 1080p video screens, so I can render it out at 4K. And at 1080p, it took 32 hours to render that. And if I wanted to do 4K rendering, that would be, I don't know, my computer out of commission for, well, four times, four times 30 is what? 120, let's just say 120 hours. Well, I can't have my computer tied up for 120 hours. The great thing about the Threadripper is I'll be able to render that video much faster and I'll be able to play games at the same time or make my game or whatever, or run the recording studio. All these things that I have to do one thing or the other because they all take up all of my processor. So that'll be solved. <laughs> what? Really? I've never had any trouble like that on eBay. Look at that, you got an invitation to visit Europe. Oh. If only they take mana. <laughs> then you go. Man. I couldn't quite tell where that guy was. Hey, Tadukin. They're already over there, guys. They already have the delivery point.
killed by the rock. Oh my god, we're in trouble. Man, oh man, this is intense. Oh, you sneaky bastard. We failed. Second place, not bad for coming late. Now, I want I want to see is how my playing from a three-year-old system to a brand new cutting-edge supercomputer. I'm still gonna call it that. That's what it is. It's just not four CPUs. And yeah, I haven't done any benchmarks to see what the comparison is. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, sure will. And I'll be able to do multiple things at the same time. Like even today, building code for the new game and trying to do editing in Premiere, uh, very laggy. So, uh, my, my, my broadcast here right now what am i using um where is it oh it's only 15 percent of the cpu so that's not too bad but sometimes it goes up over 50 the game takes over 50 and then i get a lag spike so that'll be gone and then i'll have a video card that can not only crush this game uh, i'll be able to play all the new games too so because that's one of the problems i'm having i can't play player unknown because <laughs> the moment we start shooting guns it goes down to like four frames <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. So this is the thing. The supercomputer slowed me down. Because I would have just bought another i7. Same thing I already got. A little faster. And now I'm getting the thread river. <laughs> yeah, this is my this is my theme song. I just felt that I needed some at this stage when I was recording these songs, I felt I needed some sort of thing to kind of take it to the next level. I thought, well, if I name the song after me, if it's like my theme song, then I'll spend some extra time on it. And the cool thing about it is that when I did it, it reminded me of a song, a theme song that I had I feel like on Phantom of the Opera when the when the Phantom comes out, they have that music. So that's something that I do when I write these music shows. So I wanted to create some music. This is years and years ago. 
I want to create some music. Vote no or you lose all your XP. <laughs> I'm confused now. What was I done? What? Disarm that, disarm it, disarm it. Both of our engineers are down. Oh, we got a third one. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, what I was saying was this song reminded me of that theme song and it was a rock song you'll hear it come out next it's dark be dark and so I completely didn't and I actually like it better as an EDM song than a rock song here it is dark be dark and it only exists because I wrote Vindicated. <laughs> it's kind of a thought process. This song gets me more compliments than any of the other ones. Which is just so weird. I mean, it's, it's cool. But just... The whole process of writing Vindicated trying to push myself and then that really leads me to doing this song. And the rock song doesn't sound anything like this, but it's the same melody. That's what I'm after. Anyway. This is when you're composing, you get what you get, right? I'm actually not an EDM composer. I'm a, I guess you call it more a progressive rock composer. <laughs> and and that, you know what that's the thing too is there's a lot to it it's not just the simple dimple stuff that you like and then you hate and I got a whole bunch of new songs too that I think are really good <laughs> yeah the one is my long term follower he's also my greatest uh, admin, what do you call it? <laughs> yeah, he's helped me with my song list. I used to just have a printed song list with all the songs up there, all of them. And then it got into two and three and I had to change it halfway. And So I'm really thankful for all that. Hey, not a year yet. I'm getting there, though. Oh, you see that leg spike right there? That's what I'm talking about. That will be a thing of the past.
And the main problem I have right now is I'm making a video game that's going to come out, you know, be targeted for computers in three years on a system that's three years old. So that's a six year span of technology. It's just too long. It's too much. So that's why I want to buy the cutting edge. I've never ever bought cutting edge before. I always buy behind the curve because it's so expensive. But, you know, for game design, they're coming in on the right side, guys. Nice. I used to play with Brave Little Toaster, and I saw Toaster, I thought, oh, there's him, it's that guy's broken Toaster. Oh, I thought the raging was in front of me. <laughs> he saw those guys and quickly turned and I ran into the danger. And I appreciate that. Just don't kill yourself over it. Like, don't stay up all night <laughs> because of my stream. Help me. Help me, motherfucker. Help me. Help me. Help me. Oh, Hey, how you doing, Remington? It's interesting how much traffic I get on YouTube now. It's just it kind of goes to the slump for a while, and then all of a sudden it gets busy. And you need to disarm guys. <laughs> Awesome. It's pretty good for being broken. What? Yeah, I'm the same way, not fussy. But drives me crazy. Because people telling me what to do. You shouldn't be making video games. You should go get a job. <laughs> it's like, who are you? <laughs> Why are you saying this to me? People are just so hardwired that you have to do things a certain way, you know? Behind us, both sides, guys.
Oh, man. Behind us, they're planting right now. There's a laser. Get a wrench on that thing, man. E well, <laughs> if I had a company that was financed, people probably would be okay with it. It's because it's not a finance company, right? People just trying to say there's no money in it, which is, I mean, freaking John Carmack and all these guys are driving fancy cars. And just like, there's lots of money. Yeah, but that works for them, but not for you, you know. It's all the crap that's out there. People have small thoughts, you know. Man, we're doing good. They're at the turret. Airstrike. Oh, I run back towards it. What a moron I am. Planting. Coming in on the left side. Oh, I don't know who was shooting me. Watch the plant. Oh my god. Great hole, guys. It's, it's funny because just a few years ago, if you asked Americans what they thought about Canada, they thought, well, that's where people live in igloos, right? <laughs> America is very inwardly focused. It's, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> have to get the first objective guys
confusing. And it's amazing when you think of a place like Canada, how freaking big our country is, you know? And most of it's wilderness. It's like the exact opposite. There's some stats out there on how many kilometers each Canadian has, you know, if you spread it out. 30 million Canadians across this massive country. But even Russia, <clears throat> compared to the USSR, when they were all together, it's much smaller now. <laughs> Tastes a lot more like a mandarin than a <clears throat> tangerine. Platinum main objective. Oh, just missed it. I was talking with a Russian programmer and I kept trying to tell him, explain how things were working. And he's like, you want me to work for free? <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> we're just unfinanced right now. We have to track your hours and your wage and, and uh, you know, issue shares in your name for it. And he's like, so for free. I'm like, no, no, it's not free. Yeah, I don't want it for free. Don't waste my time. <laughs> okay, buddy. That was my Russian accent. He actually didn't speak to me, it was all through a website where you hire people. I had one guy sign the contract and everything and he was like, okay, well now go on the website and start paying for me to work. I said I said that's that's not the agreement that we just signed. Did you read it? So he refused. Unless I paid him. I mean, it's impossible for one person to pay a whole development team. We have to have financing. Oh my goodness, really? That's a pretty evil drug. I think the reality there, though, is a lot of people just don't want to live anymore. That's the problem with the whole communism thing. There's no real reward for accomplishment. I 
I worked so hard on that. Gates closed. It all the whole thing. And the whole thing about drugs, it all depends on where you grow up and what you're exposed to and what is sociably correct. I mean, if all your friends are doing drugs and you're not, man, you're gonna feel like out of place, or you're gonna start using them. That's the problem with the whole. Uh, societal influence, you know? They always say you are who your friends are, so, I mean, if you got friends that are all focused and don't need to think about that kind of thing, well, that's who you're gonna be, but if you live in the ghetto, planting main objective. One, one, one. We got it. We just won. Mine is gone. That's excellent. See, but I'll tell you, I was in a rock band and we toured around and I didn't smoke. But if I went to a party or something, everybody's smoking and everybody's drinking and you're breathing in the smoke. You know, you're like, can I have a drag of that? It's just this stupid thing that happens in your brain. And next thing you know, you're smoking. I mean, even if it's just a little bit like I did, it's just stupid. So, it's, it's all about influence. Yeah, I was in a touring rock band. I was the lead guitar player and composer. It's just so ridiculous, though. We went out on the road, and they're like, you can't play your own music. you got to play Top 40. Well, <laughs> why are we... Why are we we're in these bars to play other people's music? I mean, what's the point? So what we did... Took us a while to figure this out, but it was brilliant. We did mini tributes, so instead of playing a whole bunch of different songs by different bands, we do three songs by ACDC, three songs by Van Halen, and then that was the first set. The second set we came out, we did Pink Floyd The Wall. Pretty much the whole album, not the hokey songs, but the good songs. And then the third set, when everybody's drunk, we came out and played all our own music. And everybody danced, they had no idea. It was music and they danced and they enjoyed themselves. So yeah, um, there's a song. Hold on, let me just have a look here. I think it's the next one coming up. Uh, where I play, I'm playing my real guitar. Because this is all just uh, techno stuff. You know, where I'm working with a keyboard sounds even the guitars are all just samples which is great it's a lot easier than you know the whole thing I was doing before was writing characters and a, a, a two hour show and all the songs would work together to tell a story but they also work separately as singles that was always my goal to do something like that so you know then you got to record all the singers and all that kind of stuff
Here they come. Did you get killed in the door? Here we go. <laughs> Somebody sending me silly pictures on... Uh, I don't even know what channel that is because I usually don't have anybody on that. It's the one that starts with an S. What the heck is that? I broadcast to six different channels. And YouTube and Twitch are the busy ones. Hitbox, they changed. Somebody bought it. But I still broadcast there. I'm not sure what the new name is. Uh, I was broadcasting to the Bing, which is... Microsoft bought it, but they changed the name of it. And then I'm broadcasting on Periscope. Which is a very interesting one, because there's either nobody, or somebody comes on and they like what you're doing, and they invite 20 friends, and all of a sudden there's 20 people watching you. It's very cool. And it's actually made for handhelds. So everybody is watching it on their phone. Which is really cool because I'm broadcasting off of a PC. Holy smokes, run away, bitch. Oh, and the meta gets him up. All that work for nothing. All right. Yeah, so this is me playing real guitar. This is all spontaneous, too. Sometimes I ri I'll write a solo. Like, I'll do this, and I'll do that, and end here, and do that. Sometimes it's pretty loose, sometimes it's very exact. But this is all just spontaneous guitar solos. But many takes, probably about nine takes. And then edited together. So you don't hear all the mistakes I made. <laughs> Giving away all my secrets. But that's what they do in the recording studio. I just don't have time to work out. You know, when I get an idea, I'm going to record a real guitar solo. I don't got time to work it out. Let's do it quick. Get it done. Oh, man, all that for nothing. So do you want to hear my craziest road story from when I was in a band? I've got a bunch of them. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh man, she just ducked. That was good. Oh, come on. I got stuff to do. 
Bad Bunny. Eric. Guatemala? Wow. How balanced is the currency in Thunder? Because I'm not here since 274 days, but definitely not too late. Okay, so so let me I'm gonna answer your question the best I can. I can't answer it perfectly. People that get in early uh, gain a greater reward than those people that get in late. But you can get in any time. It's just a matter of how much time you spend playing, how much how much gear you get rented out, all the stuff that feeds the algorithm. Now, we don't sell individual items. We leave that whole business up to the gamers. What we sell is package deals. So, the items might be worth five bucks, but you're gonna buy 70, $75 worth, and then you can put that up for sale, and you make 45 bucks. Something like that, I don't have the numbers right in front of me. Something like that. So, basically what we're doing is we're making a really great game for gamers that don't buy things, which is the majority of people. And I got all this idea, I played a game called Silk Road Online, and most people didn't spend money. But it filled up the servers having everybody there. And then the guys that spent the money, they always looked really good. and You know, whatever, that's how they do it, right? But you only got advantage if you spent money. So we're not going to do that. That's the wrong way to do it. The way to do it, because I'm a believer that wealth is people, it's not money. It's treating people properly. So that's kind of the, the basis of our philosophy. So people will come in, they'll spend 75 bucks, they'll put stuff up for sale, they'll make money. It's a, an incredible place for, for people to invest and run it like a business. And then if you just want to buy a bunch of gear, you can buy just a bunch of single gears, but you're buying that all from, from individual players who are profiting by doing it. And if you're, if you're doing the free-to-play thing, well then you can just grab whatever gear is available. And uh, just be warned, if that guy comes back online, you're going to have to get a different piece of gear. So that's the downfall of doing the free-to-play. That's the motivation to buy stuff. Is that somebody, you could be in a, the, the fight of your life and have the best gear and, and devices and all that kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, boom, it's, you know, something or all of it. Or, you know, depending on if you got it all from one guy. He comes online, he wants to use that stuff, it's his. So that's the downfall to the free-to-play. So that's how I've balanced it by design. And I think it's excellent as, you know, as a gamer, as a guy, like I've put $11 into this game. <laughs> you know, I've got freaking 1400 videos almost or something, 1300 or something like that on YouTube. Not all from this game, but most of them are. So, I mean, I've got great value out of it. But I wish there was a way I could support these guys and then be, you know, rewarded for it. I couldn't get the, the bunny up. So I hope that makes sense to you. Man, I could have done that better. I like those little cutscenes. That's one thing I'm gonna miss. I mean, you'll be able to spectate it in our game. In fact, we're gonna do. Um, I, I can't say this, so I'm gonna stop. But you're gonna be able to spectate people in our game, but not the way this game works, where you're tagged out and then you spectate. I know he was talking about your mana.
The one's in a. I'm just making this up right now. The one's in a different category. He's gonna be a mana, a mana cleric. <laughs> So he'll be giving his mana to other players. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be fun. It'll work. I'll figure it out. He's gonna have his own servers. <laughs> now that's another thing we're gonna do. Is you know people that that we trust will get, be given the power to kick people out of the servers. And I think what we're gonna do is if somebody's really good or expected a hacking it doesn't matter one of those two but they're upsetting the balance of the game our amends are going to be able to, to push them into another server and keep them away from the average players the ranked players and they'll be playing against each other i think it's the best thing in the world instead of kicking people like oh you're a hacker or you're buying a hack or whatever so now all of a sudden you're pushed onto a hacking server. And so your you know, your choices are keep buying your hack and play against hackers, which gives you no advantage. And they'll all be setting their bots as high as they can. It'll be just so obvious they're all hackers. But they'll be playing together. Anyways, that's the idea. And that's not my idea, I actually got that from another game company. I thought it was brilliant what they did. Well that was very cool. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah, this is stopwatch. Actually, I wrote uh, a letter to the guys at punk buster telling them how they could improve their product and they go oh no we're not trying to to get in and get the information find out who's hacking or anything like that it was i can't remember the exact response but i just thought it was so nonsensical they're taking all these people's money and they're not really providing a proper service and they just he just the owner the ceo sent me this really wishy-washy email about it. <laughs> oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. I think that's a great idea. And it's really motivational. Why would you hack? All of a sudden you're going to be limited to hacking servers and you have no advantage. And yeah, it supports the hackers, or, or the, the people that make the hack, I mean, I should say. But if you're dumb enough to buy it, that's what I always say. If you're going to put money in, support the guys that make the game, not the hackers. Or the guys creating the hack, or whatever. The hack maker. There we go. Oh. Fifty seconds. We need to push here, guys. No, I can't get a plant. Oh no, I had a mine on that, I shot it. But he got it first. There's no time for another one. So 
So yeah, I created a doc document years ago. It's called Heat on the Cheat. And it's filled with ways to structure your game so that uh, you can deal with the problem of cheating because it is a big problem. Now, Amazon assures us that because most of our files sit in the cloud and the hackers don't have access to them, it's much harder for them to cheat on the game that we're making. Now, having said that, I also know that Crytek is the most hacked engine out of any of them. You play any game made by on the on the on the Cry Engine. There's filled with hackers because the hack works. You know, once you make a hack for one of the engines, it works on all the other ones. Or sorry, on one of the games, it works on the other ones. Yeah, that's a really good point. Actually, I really like that statement. So I'm going to read that. Hackers, like I like to call them, anti-gamers, because they don't give a damn about their community, and they destroy the purpose of the game. So I think they don't have the right to call themselves gamers. It's excellent, man. Well, the simplest ideas I have for hackers is just a simple sum check. And if your sum check is different, you know, because you've put a hack in, into the game, the game won't work. I don't know, understand why more people don't do that. It's a very simple thing. It's very low. Um, like the problem, the problem with uh, this game, Dirty Bomb, is as soon as they remove the paid hack that they hadn't, hack protector and created their own or whatever. As soon as they did that, uh, I started getting lag spikes. So they didn't optimize it properly. Okay, Duan. Good to see you, man. Do I think piracy is as bad as hacking? Well, see, we're going to end that on our side by, you know, making the game better than free to play. But I understand what you're saying. People stealing music and games and movies. I think on the Hollywood side of it, I think they're kind of misrepresenting how much is going on because if those people had to pay they wouldn't you know they're taking the movie the game the music exactly for the point that it's free it doesn't cost them anything
So, you know, you can't count that. On the consumer side of it, you know, people have been paying for things like DVDs and movie theaters with with expensive popcorn and all this kind of stuff for a long time. So this is just kind of a rebellion. However, it is criminally wrong to take a copy of a game, a song, or a movie that doesn't belong to you. You know, you don't have access to a copy or whatever. So it's a complex issue. You know, do I think people should go to jail for it? No. I think you just need better systems of distribution. The other thing is it's been really misrepresented. It really hit its its peak with um what the heck's the service the guy, the guy that was doing the free music stuff anyways. You know, so that was all peer to peer and all that peer to peer stuff has been heavily scrutinized and a lot of those people are going to jail and Well, I disagree with that statement because consoles, consoles are like old computers. That's like saying, you know, going to the dollar store and buying some old PC game because it's made for a Commodore or something. I mean, I'm being ridiculous with my example, but you know what I'm trying to say. The whole idea of consoles. I mean, if you can't afford a PC, yeah. And if you want a game, you got to buy a console. But the thing is, is here's my point that I always make, is you can't build a game on a console. You know, I could never do the work that I do on a console. I can port uh, a game from the PC to the console, but I cannot use a console to make a PC game. It would just never work. You know, trying to have multiple screens, trying to chat, download stuff, install stuff, run all the software that I run. It just doesn't happen. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna rush him and kill myself. <laughs> yeah, and you know what? That's questionable. That you pay money for Grand Theft Auto, and then you're not allowed to sell the disc. See, I'm a, I'm kind of against all that stuff. That's kind of where the whole mentality. Let me just say this. I was playing a game on online called Silk Road Online, and you know we had an investment from a doctor, so I had a whole bunch of computers. They were getting a little bit old, but they were just fine for running stalls in this game. And so I ran six stalls. <laughs> Have to get up in the middle of the night to service them and stuff. But um, and the worst was was when the they would drop offline and then you have to go set them all back up again. Oh my God. Anyways, but I did it and I had, I don't know. I can't remember the exact numbers. I know there was something about a hundred thousand or sorry, a hundred million. I think that's what I had a hundred million game gold or anything. So people would freak out. They're like, how are you so rich? And, uh, you know, it's cause I had all these computers. It wasn't duplicatable. I couldn't teach them how to do it. But what they were starting to do was ask me to, they didn't want to buy gold from the gold farmers, they wanted to buy it from me because they knew me and I was in their clan or their union or whatever. No, sorry, guild or union. There's no clans. And, uh, which was cool. And so I started selling game gold for US currency and I went, this is awesome. But again, it's not something I could teach or other people could do. You know, unless they had all those computers. So I wanted to create a game where where it was, you know, everybody could do it, you know? So that's where the seeds of all the stuff that I'm doing came from.
Where did all the bad guys go? They must have all got a text message at the same time. <laughs> oh man, their top guy's got 41. 22, 22. Oh man, they're way ahead of us. They should win. Somebody's got to be killing them in route. This is kind of cool. Man, I swung my stick and nothing. That's actually interesting. Let you say that about piracy. Anyways, I watch a little bit of anime. I'm not a big fan of it. I, I definitely like uh, 3D stuff more. But, you know, I mean, I've watched Yu-Gi-Oh! and... I don't know. A whole bunch of that stuff. That's why I laugh when people say the heart of the cards or whatever. That's from Yu-Gi-Oh. They're planting. Good job, guys. Mine's replaced. I ended somebody's rampage. Man. Having two guns on me is not good. Just going for some ammo, man. <laughs> I can't get that. Oh, well. That's a good question, I don't know. I like ending, ending people's uh, streaks. Left. Airstrike left, watch out. Oh, run in that corner, eh? Madam Madamu. It's very, very nice of you. I 
think we just won. Oh, it's a draw. He has 108 kills? Holy smokes. How did we not win? Or not lose, I mean. Oh man, today's the fifth. 11 more days. Now, technically, the processors come out on the 10th, but if I buy it on the 16th, I don't have to think about paying for it for another whole month. And that sounds good to me, so. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in again. I enjoy it, it's good. Get that sleep, oh, look. New missions. So I kind of got caught, but that's okay. It's a thousand. You have a good one too. We'll catch you tomorrow. All right, where's Starry Plane? Objective. Okay, let's go see if there's room. I haven't played with her for a while. Wow, they even say where the server is now. Los Angeles, California. No wonder you guys get better ping there on the server. It's like down the street. You know, as far as the internet's concerned. Oh, I screwed up. No. Oh, Thunder. That's what I screwed up. Man, I can't believe I just did that. Oh, and a stopwatch. Oh, so I really screwed up. Okay, well. Let's play a quick one of these. Maybe real quick. Disarming. Why would you let them disarm when you're back here like this? Oh, we're okay. All right. Thunder in my squad. I'm gonna finish the medic, not very much, and play stopwatch. Ooh. Yeah. 
50's better than 68. Why does it say she's here? She chain servers? Obviously, why? Planting main objective, come help, come help. Is the engineer in the room now? Guys, get in here. Oh. Now they're all in the room. We blew it. Hey, jump these guys so we get some new players that are here. Got a mine on it. We need help in the main room. Let's cover this.
to move up. That was weird. Dude, that hurt. Did somebody shoot me or that? It's just a landing hurt. Chance the Rapper. Medic. Medic. Planting main objective. Need some help to cover this, guys. I'm down. They're disarming. Disarming. This guy should be disarming. What a moron. He could have won the game. Proves my point. People are focused on killing. Revenge. Stats. Rank. Being first. Those aren't the important things. She noticed me. <laughs> like, oh, she went right by me.
And that sucked. planting laser the front door side doors open both of them Hey, jump guys, let's get somebody that's here. things geared so that you you uh, run out of your of your time or whatever your sorry your cooldown and then things don't work so you stick your neck out and you get your head gets cut off <laughs> that's the design <laughs> Notice that in a lot of games, and honestly, I don't like that. I think we just won.
It's a very interesting map how we can come out behind him like that. It's easy. Oops. <laughs> I thought I was out of his line of sight. Quickly realized I was not. No! <laughs> it's like I couldn't stop. Hey, how you doing? Beer or salt? How's it going tonight? Did I ask you where you're from? I'm in Western Canada. Behind the shield, man. <laughs> Texas, all right. Seems there's a lot of people in Texas. Good to hear. I had a good day, but it was a little frustrating trying to get the new version of our game engine up and running, but we'll get it. I'm getting closer. I mean, my guys got it, but I got the master game. And of course, I'm pushing the limits on everything. That's my job. Awesome. And now I gotta fix it. <laughs> awesome. I don't think I can get that. Oh, awesome. Proxy's planting again. Awesome. Need a medic? Oh, we don't have a medic. Oh, they have a 155. Okay. And a 111. Okay. She's planting, or he's planting. Yeah, that nader just keeps on uh, nading me on the MG. I'm just going up there for cover. Oh, totally guessed I was coming around that corner. Proxy left side, she's really Got it. There we go, lol. Planting again. I'm gonna go back to DMG. Yeah, this pixel popper gun. That's 
I'm not trying to lie like you. I, sh I would spam if I. Disarming. Oh. She put a mine. Everybody hit get a wrench on that. Oh. It's fine we held it longer than we probably should. Their size, they have a few naders, so they're smart like usually I just use turtle and stay on that and get tons of XP, but they were smarter. Here's ammo. Planting, I think. Thanks. I just finished my medic mission. Oh, okay. Well then. I'll tell you about Like all the high levels are playing tonight. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Yo, what's up? Nice, man. Oh. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Whoa. We're, uh... Sorry about that. Yo, what's up? Need a disarm? Oh, okay. Why would you let me know you're there? Guys, they're punching.
I got you. Hey man, I might be a doctor, but I'm not a doctor to help the dead. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Watch out for the trap. They're here. <laughs> Thank you. I know I missed all of those, I'm so sorry. It's not your fault, it's really hard to do. Uh oh. Need a medic. Okay, why do you place a mine right there? They're planting. Hey, be gentle. How you doing? How goes it? <laughs> doors. Keep going up there. The doors are closed. Your internet is iffy? Man, mine's finally working great. Finally. Went through such a long dry spell. Diffuse, diffuse, diffuse. Good job, guys. <laughs> Family bar barbecue made you made you tired. It happens. They're planting. They've forced overtime. Disarming. Got it. <laughs> Proxy killed me right after I finished. Woo. So you're saying internet's iffy because you're away from home? Is that what you're saying? And where are you at? What's the temperature like there? Oh my goodness. Bro, people that do this.
Come on. Give me a second, Skarma. Skarma. Yeah, forget about going that way. Usually I always can. Twenty you degrees. Think the is insane. Oh, okay. That makes sense. It's cool there then. It's hot here. I don't know what it is, but it's hot. I'm in the interior of BC. Repsonic. Oh, <laughs> right over my head. Fletcher, I keep on putting med packs, so you keep on missing them. Fletcher, okay. Planting main objective. Oh, I'm not healing. Cover that plant, guys. Uh, proxy getting rid of the bridge generator. Still mines on it. Mine on the plant is gone. Got another mine on it. I bore witness to rhapsodic ecstasy one could nay imagine, let alone describe. The straight forward. Sixty eight degrees Fahrenheit for the Americans. <laughs> it's gonna go plant this thing. I'm gonna do a fast plant. company oh it's hot for you eh yeah I have an air conditioner but I'm still feeling hot and I know I know exactly how you feel how did I not get that <laughs> One of my secrets is to uh, get a dish pan or, you know, some little, clear. Let's go. Let's little thing that'll fit your feet. Put cold water in it, put your feet in it. It's amazing how that'll cool you down. Planting main objective. I just missed just enough, I guess. The nader lived. <laughs> Nerf rounds. Only on Tuesdays do I use Nerf rounds. <laughs> we won. I won the game. <laughs> for stopwatch. What do you think of the switch? Oh, really? Everything is just going to get smaller and smaller until... The business model will be, well, they'll lose it, so they'll have to buy another one. <laughs> so tell me, how do you mostly play the Switch? As a console or as a handheld? It's a great design, though. 
I really like the idea. So I like about Nintendo. They just keep pushing the limits all the time, you know? Great. Oh yeah. Right, you're playing as a handheld because you're away from home. That's why, right? Why the heck did we go A and he went B? Plant that up, I'll mine it. That's a nice way to start. Pretty neat paddle you got there. That's that's a very nice paddle you got there. Going B. Chicago. I'm good. Oh, there's a sniper at B. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's my friend. Your royal excellency. I have a mine, a goat. Oh. <laughs> well, you can obviously aim because he hit me with the first shot. I like to rush snipers, though, but not after I've been shot by him. Yo, I'm getting the hang of this. You're the last guy alive. Oh, fuck it. I'll tell you right now that Phantom's hanging around the bomb. <laughs> there he is. Yo. <laughs> nice. I'm hitting you to the game again. Ooh, I'm back in the game. Yeah. Alright, let's test the middle, but if it's no good, let's back away. Oh, they got we got enemies. Oh. Sniper. Yeah, I can't take that. It's gonna finish me. Uh, 40% health. 47% health. Sniper. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go B. Planting B right now. Oh, I got two guys with one mine. Damn. Good two snipers. 
Uh, MP5s. All right. Oh, good job, Vinda. <laughs> good job, Vindicator. Is that a legendary character? Uh, nope. That's awesome. <laughs> I must say, I've never ever got two snipers on one mine before. That was a first for me. I think I've got three people on a mine. Maybe four, but never two snipers. The best was a turret. I was dead. And I was playing execution. And I had a turret set up up high. And every one of the enemy team members walked in and it killed them from behind. And they didn't tell each other. I got five kills after I died. It was awesome. In overground. <laughs> Including yourself. So, uh, here in the interior, we're dealing with major forest fires. Luckily, there's nothing close to me, but there's a lot of cities getting uh, evacuated, just in case. And we have a massive forest fire right across the lake. Now, luckily, the lake is about a mile wide, so we don't have, and, uh, you know, thousands of miles long, so we don't have anything to worry about where I live, but the people on the other side of the lake, they only can access it through a small ferry. And, uh... It's coming up the backside of their mountain, so it's pretty scary. Lots of smoke yesterday. Today wasn't too bad, though. The wind shifted, and the smoke was bearable. But yesterday, man, the moon was red. That's <laughs> how so much smoke there was it in the evening. <laughs> yeah. Pretty smoky. But you know, forest fire is a natural thing. If it doesn't burn off every once in a while, it just builds and builds until it's very dangerous. Planting A. Oh, come on. Watch that plant. He's up right up above you, right behind you. Where he was. That's where he killed me from. Okay, I'm lagging. There he is. All right. I killed you for your birth. Your actions. Oh, it's nice to win the first one. Yeah, in Vancouver at the bridge, you could see the water, how bad it was in town. Yeah. Bad enough to give you a headache. Are you talking about the smoke? What are you talking about? I hear mines. Oh, I got them both. I got lucky. How bad the smoke is. Okay. Yeah, yesterday was really bad. The whole mountain near the side of the lake, you could hardly see it. Then you get these huge plumes of white smoke, and what we suspected is that's them dropping water on it. Because why, why would it be pure white? Let's go B this time. Our medic went eh? One of them dead on top of the tree. 
Oh man. They're both uh, lit. Yeah, yeah. Shoot them. All right. There's the other guys lit too. There, right by the bomb. And our medic's down. So you're the last guy up. He's gonna try to come behind you. Try to find that proxy and then kill him and then you're gonna be done. Other than that, you're gonna have to pick up the bomb and plant. There you go. Yeah, he's, yeah. You got him. Yeah, don't play his game. Go pick up the bomb and plant it. Because he can see you through that smoke. And it's a good time because he only has one smoke. Watch it, watch it. Oh, I didn't know he was coming. All right, let's go A long, all the way to the left. Airstrike in the middle. Watch out. They're all by the train. All right. Let's go A long again. Planting A. Oh, I'm down. There's no mine. Get me up. Oh, it's too late. There's no mine on that, guys. Keep it covered. Nice. Right, let's go B this time. Got company out the front door of the, of the tunnel here. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> you know who Anana Boss is? He's asking me if I have smoke too. I haven't had a chance to answer him. Planting B. <laughs> Nothing like whacking a phantom. Oh, wow. Change characters. Unexplainable golden miracle. And then we'll put a couple mines. It's like money from heaven. Coming around this side, B. Jovo Thunder and Eli Bills. Mana from heaven. Got a mine on that bomb. That's down. The bomb is down on B anyway. Oh, B just one. He's a pilot at pilot school. Oh wow. Yeah, he says he's flying out of Abbotsford. It's super smoky. Oh, whoops, I changed the wrong character. Oh, yeah, because I don't have Nader. Whoops, I was supposed to change that. I gotta stay proxy. Phantom on you guys. They're getting back up. Air cadets, okay. Always heard about that, but never involved. I'll play medic. Just gotta remember to stay back.
money from heaven. <laughs> well, it sucks you're not home, but it's nice that you can join me, even though you're not home. There might be a mine on there. Careful. Somebody get me up. You got it. Nice. What do you think about Fortnite? Seems to be catching quite a few people's attention. Yeah, I'm just not into goal uh, ranked either. It's just got way too many problems. Just does not interest me. I'll put thunder here. I'll put nader here. You've been loving the game entirely, eh? Wow. Hi, Paulette. Yeah, I've already played uh, my stopwatch missions. I <laughs> two of them. And then I played uh, um, Objective. And I'm just wrapping up with a little execution. If you want the big bucks, you got to play. So you got 3.4 million bucks. That's because you play all three game types every day Houdini Gaming how you doing well you did better than I did I was just about at silver and then I just started losing and I was like man why am I playing this <laughs> it's no fun. Oh man. Oh, she didn't shoot me. Oh. <laughs> well, my problem is I put together a really good team, but we the guys we face are just better than us. And a lot of them are smurfing. You're like, oh, yeah, these guys are low level or whatever. Yeah, they're freaking smurfs. And then the hackers. It's just like, my goodness, all the hackers hanging out and ranked. Because they can win it consistently. And it's more rewarding for them. It's just broken. That's what I think. The whole thing's broken. Ooh, that didn't work out well. Deep in the living forests of planet Nebulous Prime, in a clearing, here's the story of our game. Some of it. Yeah, I haven't seen a hacker for a while. Yeah, I must admit that. I think I have a good painting from that. I'm sure you probably do. But for a while, when I was playing ranked, it was full of hackers, man. You know, they play sniper, and you just, you, what can you do? Say, bomb is eight. Oh, hi, Samara. Well, Tally is pretty spectacular. Of course, that's what you'd say. Those chemicals are at it again. Why didn't he not shoot me? Wow. I think he was winding it up or something. Yes, of course. Why am I even here? I am your leader. That's what happens when you draw the short straw. I don't know why my name was in there. 
Yeah, you better run with me. <laughs> Two left. <laughs> that's that's my biggest fear, man. When I upgrade my computer, is that I'll be reported as a hacker. And it might even look like I'm a hacker because my game is going to improve immensely. <laughs> He's a buddy now. That's funny, man. He's in the mid. Oh man! I was on the music instead of on the game. Sorry about that. I remember when things were really spectacular. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think I have a good painting from that. I'm sure you probably do. Ah, here it is. And of course, it's called spectacular. That's why I paint, Tally. To capture those moments. <laughs> Ninja Rhino. Hmm. Is that why so many of your paintings feature Tally? Oh, he's oh, played against fair. Simba, and that's what he's doing. Well, his Ninja Tally Rhino moves. He'll hide in the corner and just cream my that's whole team. Like say. that corner right there. Those kinfuls are added again. Bomb is eight. Silly newbie, man. How you doing? Yeah, I love flanking. Hey, there's room in my server. <laughs> I've been really good. So I'll give you guys a little, hey, little update. Uh, I gotta turn this down because it's hard to talk over the talking. So uh, I've given up on my supercomputer. I've got a server motherboard with uh, takes four 12 cores or four 16 core processors. Every time I, I'm on my fifth board, every time I put it into the case, it shorts out. There, the cases that they make for these things are like two grand without any accessories. It's, absolutely nuts you know it's just a money grab whole thing so I've been trying to put it in a regular case as I was advised by a very good friend of mine and I gotta say he was completely wrong of course he wasn't building this exact system he was building older versions but uh, I got it all working outside of the case so I'm gonna just sell all that stuff off and I'm glad it's delayed me and so I'm just gonna go go with the Threadripper technology. So on the 16th of this month, I will be ordering all of that. So finally building myself. This computer is about three years old, so it's way overdue. Yeah, well, I had to give up on it. It was a nice dream, but man, 18 months of fooling around with that stuff. But the good news is uh, most of the stuff I can use in the next build I do, you know, like the, um, the PCI slotted SSD card, the video card, the power supply, the case, all that stuff. So I just got to buy RAM, motherboard. Going to get a thr uh, Threadripper processor and a water cooler. I think that's it, right? I think yeah, four four items and then I'm ready, set to go. So, so that's pretty exciting. And the thread ripper they say is total overkill for a game video game, but you know if you're if you're doing video like I do rendering, especially when you want to get to 4K. How did I not explode? I spam my 
explode button I got in right in between them all. Yeah, so I think if I would have got the supercomputer up and running, you know, a year ago, it would have been a great thing. And I even bought extra parts so I could make them and sell them because I really believed in it. But, I mean, if the thing doesn't work, <laughs> it just kept losing uh, the ability to see its hard drive. <laughs> I mean, there's a phantom there. Finish that disarm. Or get the proxy up. Coming, somebody's coming, somebody's watch coming, out, watch coming. out! Other side. There you go. You got it. You're fine. Yeah. Alright. Well, thanks for stopping in. Be gentle. And I can't wait to actually be playing our game. You guys drop in. It's going to be good. <laughs> Rhino versus Red Eye. <laughs> I mean, the Red Eye's totally got the advantage if he can aim. But if the Rhino can get his, his gun wound up, then he's in a serious advantage. It's the mid. All right, kill in the in the smoke. Coming up the middle street towards B. Having banished Bayman, now place their focus on Suyed. So that's the way it's going to be. I'm next, am I? Just as Suyed's blue shields flicker, Suplatis. Hey, silly, you're here. Awesome, and on my team. To strengthen her in the fight. Spectacular, thanks. No problem, doll. See. All right, I'm gonna stay in leader. More will arise to replace them. Uh, I'm blasting red here, dude. Going for points, not blue. That's the others. No, not you, aha. I, I meant... Ugh. Lord Balaam, sometimes I see a family resemblance. Well, how can you say that in front of them? I see it too. <sighs> Don't get salty. I think you may be the one who... Oops. Sir, now vanish. There's mines today. Man, that sucks. I'll give you the most incredible show anybody's ever seen. Meanwhile, back at the back. Do we have a medic? We don't. Right. Yeah. What about guns? Good, honey. I won't take you with me. No. So have oh, thank you. It would be her last act of this battle. Takes out her claw device and severs her safety line to see what it is. Moments later, he's vanished. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I got about three bullets off and then I died again. Incredible. Absolutely spectacular. It was spectacular. I do. Smack the bomb. Watch for mines. You have no shields. What the heck are you doing back here already? Hard to plant the bomb when you step on the mine. Shields. The one. Heyman was right. 
What am I doing? Why am I not proxy? That's it for me. Curses, I hate you. Nice work, Tally. Oh, because I'm trying to be a medic. The king's attitude proves that today they hold the upper hand on the brood. There are many lessons here, and the brood are learning from it. Tomorrow will be different, as there are twists and turns to come. For now, we have to banish the rest of the enemy. With payment in the air, all cutting Kaibons connected to themselves. No one on the brood found it necessary to cut the Kaibons the king had set up. For no matter who was shot, all of their shields remain shared. <laughs> she ran over her own mind. You're still here? <laughs> yes, I'm waiting for you. That was too easy. Oh, well, let me just send you to her. With a single stinger set inside payment, 20 seconds counts down until his vanishing. Can he find any red shield in time? This is the end of our first story. Yet, let us recall, how did it begin? Don't ask me what I'm doing. I don't know. Of course, that's the Ozzy Osbourne song. Oh, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, he's going to pass me. All right. Yeah. I'll take a screenshot of that. Mission complete. Now I can put a medic in. Yeah, it was great. Thanks for joining me, man. That's awesome. Always enjoy that. <laughs> I'm glad. Okay, I'm going to play one more gallery. I'm just going to get up, get off my rear end here for a couple seconds.
All right. Last game. What? I didn't change my thunder? Whoops. I thought that was a, I was going to do that. I guess I got up and forgot. <laughs> Somebody in the middle. I'm going, buddy. Two medics in the middle, but I don't know where the rest of the team is. All right, you're the last guy. And it looks like they're going B. No. We seek, me seeks. Your internet died. I don't know what they did, but my internet's working great. Finally. <laughs> Obviously, it's back. I got it. Thank you. Wanted to make sure. <laughs> those those direct nade hits. I've I've got two and I've never got three in a row, but I've done two in a row and man, it's like boom boom. Two guys are down. It's like wow. That's why I play nader. It's not like it's easy to do, but it. It does become second nature, though. And what's funny is I always say this is that I played the Nader in, uh, um, in uh, Team Fortress 2. And I just couldn't... Uh, got a lot of guys are doing the direct connect thing. I mean, it's cause basically the same thing. But I just can't play that guy. But this girl, I, man, she's uh, right up my alley. Something about her. They did, did her right or something. So we lost the fourth man, so just be careful. Hmm. A is clear. Clear. Yeah. Oh. 
Yes. Oh no, both naders are down. Yeah, they never lost their spawn. Oh, silly newbies here on the opposite team. <laughs> Mid is clear. Oh, he's back up. Man, oh man. You're the last guy and you got three to kill. Well, two now. <laughs> so much for that. Oh, well. It's going to drop the tunes here a bit. They're still hanging out near their spawn. Meta can get me up. Proxy good disarm. It's right here. Proxy. <laughs> Oh, the medic was right there. No. We should have did that better.
it comes from mid. Out there, engineer. I'm down though. All right. No. I knew I was toast. The middle is always a bad idea. Oh, so they're not there, then it's great. Sometimes you can push through. But I think you need a bigger team. There's smoke on the right side. Medic can you get me up. Thank you. Awesome. He's right behind me. This is the last round.
I didn't get a kill there. Whoops. All right. All right, well, that is my last game of the night. I'm kind of excited to go get this uh, countdown to my next PC image done. Yeah, good game, man. Awesome. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, you have a good night, too. <laughs> well, we know you love those shotguns, so we made sure you had one. <laughs> Anyways, guys, it's been great. Thanks for hanging with me, man. So this is Vindicator saying thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll be back tomorrow. Same time, same bat channel. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you then. And good night, Tadukin. Hey, look. Look at that. Mukau didn't say welcome back. You did something different. Anyways, it's Vindicator. And I am out.